Support your local store. Without them, you won't have a field to play at. Hey everybody, Brian and Tang here from Jack Precision Echo One here in Hotland again, SS Airsoft for the five year anniversary event. If you're not here, you're missing out, but don't, don't feel bad. We have a video showing you all this cool stuff that you can either get from SS Airsoft or your local store. So stay tuned, watch this video, and make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. So let's get started. We have the Echo One Genesis. It's one of our newer lines of M4s. It's a plastic body with a great, really strong gearbox, kind of the uh, modified Taurus. But this is the Troy Industries model using all Mad Bull products, of course. So you have the TRX in the front. So you have a lightweight handguard with rail options included in the box. You have the Troy um, control grip. There's a lot of good texture. Very, very grippy. It's nice. And then also the battle axe stock, which is very cool because you have plenty of room for batteries and other accessories in case you want to run peck box and stuff like that. Also new is the uh, tan um, Echo One flip-up sights, the yes. combat sight sets. Uh, we previously had them in just black and on the Troy series guns, but now we offer them separate as well as in tan. And they are metal and they lock in place. There's the push button to release. Okay. Next one will be the Echo One Tan Platinum. You have the three variations um, for the lengths of each color. You have black, tan, and urban gray as well. Cool thing about the Platinum series, you have a mil spec buffer tube. You can use uh, Magpul furniture if you like. This one is using the new Magpul Slim handguards. So it's very lightweight, very slim, very difficult to install because it's basically a real handguard going on the, VF, or the Echo One VFC. So you get that basically realistic design and feel. You have the locking bolt catch, so you can check how it's really good for law enforcement training and Wilson events. Right, and these have the uh, newest internals from VFC. Yes. Uh, you have the rotary um, polymer hop-up unit, uh, the reinforced um, polycar piston, and tap and plate. Tap plate. A You'll notice a light blue color, mm -hmm. so it's much stronger. Better than ever. Yes. And and this is the Echo One Gat. Everybody's been talking about waiting, and it's finally done. Um, the reason for delay would be the selector. Just for safety, we have a selector option. The real one does not because it has a bolt system. But for airsoft, you need safety, so that's why. Cool thing about this, battery go in the front. You can use Echo One buffer tube LiPo. That would go in buffer tubes like so, or any other small batteries. It will come with an 8.4. So you can put that in there. Fit some bricks too, the brick light. Yes, the brick light bow and number two will fit in there fine. And it is removable, you can unscrew this. It's a clamshell design for the grip, comes off. So if you wanted to, you can run a sling with a battery on there, perfect. So you can remove this if you like. It will come with a high cap. You have the trap door back here, winding wheel on the bottom. Mid caps are in the works as well. Cool thing about this is if you're playing a CQB like an SS Airsoft, you can upgrade this. It uses 8mm bearing gearbox, standard gears, motor, piston, uh, piston head. So if you want a dual sector, you can. The different parts would be the wire harness, of course. It's a different shell. Wire harness, the cylinder head, and nozzle and tablet plate. Other than that, you know, we have parts on hand and we work closely with Modify, so upgrade parts are available. And it's going to be a steel upper, polymer lower, very sturdy, double sling points. So you can run a Kimbo if you like. And what do you have on this side? It is the SR16 series. Uh, here we have the URX4 style rail. It'll come with all the uh, rail uh, accessories, the rail pieces, uh, so you can add your own accessories. Like on here we have the Bravo Scout light. Um, you'll notice that it's key mod pretty much all around, so you can mount your accessories almost in any possible combination. Here we have the um, Blade uh, Speed Industries. Uh, sorry. Here we have the Speed Air Soft Hand Stop. These are aluminum uh, made from bullet. They have uh, both options for Air Soft and Mil Spec Key Mod. Mm -hmm. So you can attach, you can buy it and then use it for either type, uh, any style of rail that's Key Mod. Uh, we have the Speed Air Soft uh, Sling Swivel QB Point solid mounting point here. 
On this gun I also have the uh, Echo 1 Mark 556 barrel extension. You'll notice the orange flash hider, these big uh, longer flash hiders, are meant to take these by default. So you can, uh, you know, in case you don't want to void your warranty, you can uh, slap one of these on, get the cool look, but, you know, maintain your warranty. Um, when you buy these, these also come with a decorative black flash hider if you want to install that, that's steel. Also on a side note, the Genesis series will come with the same flash hider, so mm -hmm. it's interchangeable. Right, so the newer Echo ones that are coming out are going to start ha having those flash hiders. Um, here on the body itself, it's a tougher polymer than we've had in the past. Um, very super sturdy gearbox. Uh, pretty much our latest 8 mil design, so it's kind of like the Genesis, only even more beefed up, uh, if you can believe that. We have the Knights engraved trademarks uh, faux ambi controls, just to keep it, uh, you know, mechanically simple. You know, we want to keep this basically great starter to intermediate gun. And the retail cost will be around 200 coming out later this year. Right. And there's going to be two, uh, two lengths and two colors. We've got tan and black, like right here. And then we're going to have the 13-inch rail version and a CQB shorter 10-inch rail version with a short barrel to go with it. And uh, it'll also come with metal flip-up sights for added value. Yes. Okay. We also have here... The, uh, another Genesis, uh, Echo One Genesis M4 uh, Commando. This one's been decked out with some accessories like some Echo One combat sights. Those are sold separately. It has a mil spec dimension uh, buffer tube so you can mount, you know, like this MOE stock here. Also, we have the Mission First Tactical licensed uh, pistol grip. This is great because it's got the uh, beaver tail so, you know, you can grab it a lot higher. It's got finger grooves, contoured, so you know it's very comfortable. You got texture here. It's not too aggressive, but it's not slick either. And then you have ridges here, so you can, you know, get a good purchase on that grip. Really also, good for big hands. Exactly. And then it also has a metal uh, base plate with a large screw to adjust the motor, so it's not going to strip out easily. Uh, here we have the Mad Bull licensed DD rail. This is the uh, light rail. Uh, nine inch version. There's a couple of sizes. You have seven, nine, uh, and four. Yeah, twelve. There's all kinds from the uh, Mad Bull and Daniel Defense. So you have like all kinds of flavors. Not to mention there's black and also bronze. Yeah. People call it flat dark earth, but it's more bronze. And then over here we have the uh, Mad Bull Lantac uh, Dragon muzzle brake. This one's a really aggressive uh, three port muzzle brake design. You know, it's cool. Very fancy. Okay, and on this other Genesis, we like to show the Genesis because uh, even though it's like a big, you know, it's aimed at beginners and it's a lightweight gun, it takes all standard AEG parts so we can mount, you know, these Mad Bull rails if you like. Uh, Don't forget problems. the, the mil spec buffer tube you can put on real uh, Mad Bull stocks. Mm -hmm. Other guns they can't. Right. So on this one again we have the Echo Combat Sights in black. We have a Mad Bull Nobeski KX3, the sound amplifier. This one's adjustable so you can change the pitch of the gun so it can be louder or sound more snappy. Uh, we have the Primary Weapon Systems licensed Key Mod Rail, the KM. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's the 13? I don't remember. I believe so. Yeah, it's a KM 13. You have a few different lengths. You have a 9, 13, and even a 15. That's kind of unheard of in airsoft. A longer handguard, so it covers up a 16-inch barrel nicely. Uh, these are uh, key mod, of course, and then you have a uh, QD sling sw civil, uh, QD uh, swivel hole right here. And these this rail is a little bit larger, so it can fit things like a KX3 or a slim suppressor, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, on this gun, we have the Umbrella Corporation's licensed. Uh, pistol grip. These also feature a high beaver tail, so good for larger hands. This one's a little bit uh, more of a slick texture, not completely slick, but it's very, it's not as aggressive. So, you know, if you didn't find the uh, MFT to be too appealing, this one might be for you, for you large hand guys. Again, it all feature a metal base plate with a large adjustment screw for the motor height. Yeah. And then, don't forget, these all come in different colors too. Yeah. And you're probably saying, hey, I want this rifle or that rifle, and you don't know how to build it. 
you can check with your store like SS Airsoft, which we happen to be here today, and you can say, hey, I want to get this rifle. And being from Jag Precision, we will take the Echo, the, Mo the Mad Bull, the Modify, the Speed Airsoft, and we can basically assemble what we have on our website, basically a build your own airsoft gun. So you can order through them, and it's delivered, ready to go. So that's one of the cool things about Jack Precision. Right. Being Jack Precision, people don't know we are distributors. So any of our dealers that carry these brands, Mad Bull, Echo One, uh, VFC, ENL, so on. Um, if your local store doesn't carry a certain item, but they carry those brands, they can definitely get it for you. So you can just tell them to order it, you know, um, talk to their manager or whoever, and then they would contact us and we can get it out to you guys. So, I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be out in front of you for you to be able to get it. Yeah. With the world of Mad Bull, there's so many rails and different colors, lengths and everything, so store might not have everything on the shelf. So, right. I mean, for I this toy ask. alone, you have so many variations, probably like eight or nine variations. You got three or four lengths, uh, two colors, so it's it's a lot for a store to stock. So and then also you have the mid length grip and the full size. You know, there's a lot of options. There's a lot of variety. So things like that, you should get in touch with your local store and ask them, hey, can you carry this? Or I would like to get this. Can you special order it for me? Mm -hmm. cool. All right. With that, uh, well, this is Tang and Brian uh, here at SS Airsoft's five year anniversary. Um, we'll catch you guys later. See you guys.